Wow, my glasses don't want me to be seen right now, but I need them guys, so bear with me. Hello. It's a weight loss Wednesday, and like usual, I wanted to come to you guys with something that I haven't before. So today is going to be Weight Loss Wednesday, a day in the life of consistency, and that is what today is going to be full of. So I'm on day three, actually started on Monday. Well, hello, Mr. Atticus. I'm on day three of being consistent, and eating exactly what I'm supposed to and just in taking everything that I'm supposed to. So I figured I would share that process with you guys so you can see what that looks like for me. If it's different from what you do or it varies from what you do or you have an opinion on something that I'm doing and you think that I'm doing it wrong, please keep it for yourself because if it's portrayed in a negative way, I'll probably just delete it. I'm doing what works best for myself at this point it has been quite the trial and error, and this is working for me thus far. I feel like I'm getting the most success from it, and I feel like if I share it and continue to share it and do it, it can only get better. So I'm going to stop blabbing. I'm gonna go make breakfast in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take off my glasses because you guys can't see me at all at all. Um, I'm tired, man. It is early, um, but I'm going to prep myself. Actually, not prep myself. I'm going to make myself some eggs. If you follow me on my weight loss Instagram, then you've been seeing the breakfast that I have been making for the last... I think I started this last week and I'm just continuing it into this week because it's a dope breakfast and it's full of lots of protein. So I'm going to get that made. While the eggs and spinach are cooking, I am going to get my tortilla and my turkey breast ready. Basically, I just warm up my tortilla and you guys are gonna see me add something new that you don't see me add on my Instagram if you watch my Instagram stories. So, I'm just gonna get it from the fridge. Where it at though? Where it at though? Here it is. There we go. And we ready. Okay, so basically, I am going to get one tortilla. Well, they're almost done. So they're whole wheat tortillas. Um, and this is what they got going on. They're 100 grams, or 100 calories, sorry. And this is what we got going on. So there are 100 calories. I have 170 mix of sodium, two grams of fiber, and they're a source of eight essential nutrients. I went with these over the little half sandwiches that I use in meal prep because they're less calories and whole wheat, ancient grains, just a great way to start my breakfast. So I use one of those. And then I'm gonna be putting in, and then I'm gonna be putting in two slices of this Pilner's Simply Free Turkey Breast. It is oven roasted, extra lean, 21% meat protein. It is gluten free, allergen, and nitrate free. So let's add that just in here. And basically, I just warm this up in the microwave for 30 seconds. And she goes. That's that. So my egg looks like it's almost done. I like my egg runny in my wrap. 
So I'm going to flip her over and let it cook. So one of my yolks actually broke, so it's not gonna sit in here for much longer, if I'm being honest. I'm just going to, it's steamy in here. Grab my tortilla and my wrap. And I also got my water boiling. That is for my green tea. I started drinking green tea every morning. I wanted to start drinking it every night, but if I'm being honest, I didn't drink it last night, so I can't say every night. I've drank it every morning so far. So. Um, I'm prepping my water for some green tea and I'm going to get this bad boy out the pan and onto my tortilla. So that's that. And next, we need some feta. I just want a little bit of feta on my wrap, that's it. Don't come for you, girl. So as you saw, about a three centimeter cube is 90 calories, and I use less than that, and I get that flavor and taste that I want in my wrap. So that is what I'm going to be eating. I'm just going to prep my green tea now. So I'm gonna grab a bag out of the pantry. I'm gonna show you guys my teacup because it's huge. It's not just because I'm greedy, it's because it's like, it's beer tea. So I drink it while it's warm and I find because it's so big, I'm also drinking it while it's cooling down. It's really best case scenario. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to lift it. So you guys can get an idea. Bigger than my head. Also known as best teacups around. All right, so I'm just gonna basically wrap it up. And we gonna eat. I'm so hungry, it's stupid. Mm. And you know what the best part is? I'm eating foods that are satisfying to me. I'm not eating stuff that's just like 100%, well, I'm eating stuff that's 100% healthy, and I'm eating it in the right portions, but I'm eating stuff that's satisfying, which is huge to me. I find that when I go hardcore, I'm not technically satisfied, but I'm full. So I always take one over the other. In this case, I think Dora stopped because he's been screaming for me. Yes, Bill? Okay, can you ask Daddy to turn it on? Any other mummies have Okay, so you have to wait. Any other mummies have kids who are just tunnel vision straight to mommy, like they see nobody else other than mommy. Initially, I really loved it, but I've set myself up for failure here, I really have. I've set myself up for failure. Anyways, what I was saying, my food is super satisfying, and that in itself is exciting. I feel like when I go hard, it's just about being full and eating the right stuff. And now I'm eating the right stuff and being full and I'm satisfied and I'm eating stuff that I actually like. So kudos to me for figuring this out. It only took me like four years. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Boo. Hi, Mommy. Why are you eat taco? Mm -mm. Eggs. Can I have some eggs? Can I? Ladies and gentlemen, did you see how she tried to stuff as much as she could into her mouth? Another reason why I'm probably losing weight. I don't get to eat any of my food. None of it's just for me. Even a ballerina, if you're wondering why she's wearing a ballet suit. <laughs> she decided she was going to be a ballerina yesterday. And uh, we're on day two of being a ballerina. Mm-hmm. That's where she can even fit all that in her mouth. Look, you're dropping, you're wasting my well-cooked food. There's disrespect in my breakfast. So I guess this is kind of like a vlog, really, of my day. Those are what vlogs are, right? But if you guys end up liking this one, give it a thumbs up, let me know that you guys want to see more, because uh, I can definitely bring them your way. 
it, once again, if you follow me on Snapchat or on Instagram, the, the stories, you know that I'm very much a creature of habit, so I've been eating this for about a week. When it comes to my snacks, I do mix those up, so if you want to see those, you're interested in seeing those, I can do this again and share it with you guys, so let me know. I'm going to cut it short here, finish eating my food and drinking my tea, and then I'm going to go take Atticus for a walk. So, toodles. Hey guys, the glasses are on, I need them to see, I apologize. I got on Kev's coat and we are going for a walk. Eden's just getting her shoes on because she comes with me in the morning and Mommy. at lunch so we can tire her out. So Eden got her shoes on. No, Mommy got her me. shoes on. Now we need to get little Mr. Atticus ready. Yeah, you got my shoes on. That's right, I had to help you. You were too focused on the sky. I just sit. Go boy, stay. Stay. Go push. Alright. Eve looks like she's getting the door. Good job, baby. I'd just be a gentleman. Go on, Eats. Are you warm or do you want a coat? Hey, little miss, are you sure? Do you want to do up your sweater? Yeah? Okay, sit down. All right, and we're off for the races. Eden likes to run, so she's out of here. All right, so we are in Mother Nature's. Oh, we're in something else. This is the pathway. It leads to like four different paths. Yeah. Eden likes it because she gets to pick which way to go. And burn out some of that energy. So I'm gonna let her run and do her thing. Me and Kiss go enjoy this walk. I love that we have a path that's close to me. Sky has made it out. Is she flying? Is she flying? <laughs> All right, there she goes. So we're gonna make our way down this path and it actually ends up circling back around to the house. So it's best case scenario. I'm gonna get this walk in though because holding this camera and walking, washing this child ain't easy. So we've officially made it back into our subdivision and this is Eden's favorite part of the walk. We get to balance. Yeah. Oh, it fell off. Oh, it fell off. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I hate living in like a mud field. It genuinely feels that we live in a mud field, but we get some pretty dope puddles, so we got to go jumping in puddles, didn't we? Yeah, but watch this night. All right, go. Whoa!
Oh, you found a mineral. All right, so I need to go drop off Atticus's dog poo in the garage. I found a huge mineral. So he's gonna put that in his fish tank that he's making. And we gonna get inside. All right, so we are inside. I'm just gonna go hang Atticus's leash at the front since we came in the garage. And I think I've never done, I don't think on my YouTube I've shown you guys my body in progress. And because I feel like I got this, I want to share what my body looks like now so I can see the transformation in months to come. Um, my birthday's in eight days, so I'm trying to at least look some kind of right. I'm not gonna look tight, but I'm going to look some kind of right for my birthday. Um, and then carrying on, I want the year of 28 to be a magical year. That sounds fucked up to say. Maybe 28. So I'm going to take you guys to the bathroom with me and show you what we got popping underneath all these clothes. <laughs> Oh, for a second there I thought Kev was taking a dump, but he ain't, so we gonna do this. Actually, no, let me turn the light on. There we go. Give me one second. Okay. I had to get a good breathe in there. Anyways, while I'm doing this, I wanna show you guys. My walk was about that many steps. And I'll also show you my heart rate, cause that's probably my favorite thing to track. So I'm at 101 right now, 102. Which is perfect for fat burning. So I like to get my workout done or my walk done in the morning and then go and work out. So y'all are coming with me. If you haven't taken in yet, this video is going to be a long one because I'm actually sharing with you guys what I'm doing Basically in my morning and then what I'm eating throughout the day That's why it's called a day of consistency. You guys got me for the whole day So if you ain't ready for that, you might want to just click out now because it's coming I'm sharing it with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy anyways So I'm officially wearing my waist trainer again um, It wasn't fitting me for a while then I got it fitting and then I just wasn't consistent. So the last three days I have been consistent with it. Wow, you can see that I was sweating for my walk. I've been wearing it for at least three hours a day. I love waist training. Once again, it is not for everyone. If it's not something that you are interested in doing, awesome, all the power to you. I'm not implying that you need to try this. It is something that I like, works for me, and I will continue to do. With that disclaimer out of the way, I'm going to take this bad boy off and show you guys basically what my body's looking like right now and hopefully in a couple of months it can't be looking better so this is what i am working with right now without my waist trainer on this is what i got going on for me this is what my arms look like hella crazy that whole part where the dip basically is that big whoop, I want to get rid of all of that like it's got to go. I mean if I hold my head up straight it ain't look that bad but when I turn it like this I don't know when I'm ever have my arm at this width but this is when I got those Oprah wings and it ain't popping. It ain't popping at all. Those got to go. So this is my midsection. I've actually done tremendous work on my midsection. Um, since I started, if you look at my before pictures, my belly was, this is just dangling, my belly was quite large, like, I didn't realize it was that large. So now, all I have underneath is, I'm trying to show you guys what's popping down there, but um, I got a little bit of pudge here, so this got to go, and I'm sure it'll go pretty easily, but I'm not complaining about this being here, considering before, it was like... <laughs> like that. <laughs> that was terrifying. This is currently what my body's looking like. If you guys want a good way to track your 
measurements. I actually use the 21 Day Fix app. You don't have to have purchased it to use the app. You can download it and it has a body measurement tracker. So it tracks your waist, your arms, your thighs, your calves, your neck, um, your chest. Basically everything that's important, it tracks it for you. You aren't able to update it, you can only basically do it twice. So say you want to do it once a month, you can measure yourself at the beginning of the month, then track your progress at the very end, and then continue that same progress every single month. But I actually just did my measurements, I'm excited to see them at the end of this month, see um, the progress that I made, but I just thought I would share that fun tip with you guys. Okay, I know, it's technically like an outfit change. I had to film with Kev so that we can get a video up on our channel today as well. But while we were filming for me and my husband's channel, Eden loves my beauty room, but instead of getting into my beauty room, got into her sister's makeup. I had to share her face with you guys because I think she looks beautiful. I know I'm her mummy and I'm kind of biased, but I think she did a really great job and I want to share it with you guys. And um, once I share this, I'm going to have a snack. So you guys are going to see what I'm having for my snack today. So here is little Miss Eden. Eden, come here. Come on, come and show everybody your face, girl. Do you want to tell them how you did it? Yeah. How did you do it? I did it with the brush. You did it with the brush? Yeah. And what color did you use? Purple. Yeah, is purple one of your favorite colors? Yeah. Um, doesn't it look beautiful, you guys? Like, I don't know what she was going for, but I love the stripe look across her brow. Yes, girl. Yeah. Work, girl. <laughs> Are you ready to go get a snack? All right, so I cut up four sticks of celery. That equates to about 30 calories. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of this cottage cheese. As you can see, it says it's high in protein and it's apparently low in fat, which I wouldn't even say is a good thing at this point, but you guys get the idea. Bam, this is my first snack of the day. Protein and basically foods that are going to take more work to eat and chew than they are going to in calories. Bonus! See you guys at lunch. All right, so I was going to eat um, my meal prep like I told you guys, but I don't have any lunch meal preps left. I only have dinner meal preps left. So I'm actually just going to make myself a tuna sandwich. I was going to go and get a salad, but yesterday I went really crazy um, and had a really, really, really low carb day. And I don't want to do that too often because I don't want my body getting used to that. Yeah, it's just not the wave. So at least not for me. If you want to do that, again, totally do you. I'm doing what works for me. So I'm going to be making a tuna sandwich and I'm going to be using flaked light tuna. I don't know if there's like tuna that's good for you while you're trying to eat healthy, but whatever. It's skipjack in water. I don't even know what that means. I just know that my tuna's in water. So hey, come through with a tuna, tuna. And I'm going to be, I actually filmed about this in my meal prep um, Wednesday last week that I didn't post because I didn't like it, but um, these one buns. So they are multi-grain thin sandwich buns and they are no GMO verified whole grain, no artificial preservatives or colors, all that good stuff. And it is also vegan and a source of fiber and you could use it for sandwiches, pizzas, and panini. So however you want to spice it up. I avoid these um, because I actually read the calories, the amount of calories in them, and I was kind of turned off by it, I'm not gonna lie, but I guess it's better than like a actual sandwich. Um, so this one bun is 190 calories. I'm gonna try to get one out so I can show you guys. So it's this thin, and this is what it looks like. They're actually really good, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna put my tuna in between this with some lettuce and some mayo, and we go eat it. Uh, I normally put relish in my tuna, but it's not summertime. Like, I don't think we have relish up in here. Mm. Ah, we ain't got no relish. So, I'm gonna be using olive oil mayonnaise. I know it's still fattening again. Back up off me if you're gonna say some stupid shit. Just don't save yourself. Save yourself. I'm eating it. That and. I also like celery. I'm like, where's my celery? 
So I'm also putting celery in it. And then I'm gonna just get some pepper. Keep it real simple. If you've watched my previous meal preps that were actually uploaded to my channel, you know my obsession with garlic is real. I'm not putting real garlic in my freaking tuna. That would be like some next level shit. So, uh, why do I have the salt? Who am I? Pepper. And we gonna end it off with some lemon juice. With some lemon juice. You could use a real lemon if you want. And I actually need to make my lemon water. So, let's just use a real lemon. Oh, and I need mayonnaise. I'm just like spinning in circles. Yeah, are you guys getting dizzy? Just... I'm done, I'm done. I'm a child at heart, I swear to God. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera down and make this tuna sandwich so you guys can see what and how I make it. Celery first. I really should tackle the tuna first, but I'm gonna use a whole stick of celery. So they're actually like technically chopped at the ends, but I go an inch in anyways, because by the time you open it and go through it, it's all dried up. So, yeah. And then, however thin you want them is up to you. I like like a, I like a, I can't even speak right now. I like to bite into um, different textures. So having it chunky and crunchy is my favorite. And I'm actually gonna make enough so that Maya can have some for lunch tomorrow as well. Double whammy, double whammy. If I could meal prep something, it's happening. Okay, so that's that. I'm just gonna open up these two layers. Okay, I have to do this over the sink, so I'll be right back. Am I the only one that's like, I guess you would call this old school considering. Is this old school to you guys? Like, I have an electric, what are these things called? Can openers. I have an electric can opener. I actually got two um, before our wedding and like, I don't use them. I like prefer this every day. Am I the only one? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so I'm using two cans of this tuna, skip jack in water. I put one stalk of celery I'm not really sure how much pepper I'm gonna be putting in, but I put it in for flavor. So you're not gonna see me put in like just a little, little bit. See, and I still feel like I need more pepper. So normally I would do the celery, tuna, pepper, lemon, and relish. It's a great, great, great substitute and I feel like it tastes amazing. Because I don't have relish, I am using the olive oil mayonnaise. And I'm just gonna mix it in. Okay, so that is done. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of a lemon juice. So I fill up my Arbonne bottle with like half water. I like my water cold. Um, if you wanna be hardcore, warm water is technically better for you to drink. Uh, apparently cold water is shocking to your organs. I don't know how true that is, but it's just what I've heard. Anyways, I put in three slivers of lemon. I squeeze in the top that I cut off so the excess juice can get in there. And now I'm gonna fill all of this up with water. All right, so this is filled. And now I'm gonna grab the bowl so you guys can see. I'm literally gonna squeeze that much juice into this and just mix her up. I feel like that dulls down the fish taste and it gives it like a fresh acidity. If you don't care about that shit, don't do it. If you want, you can toast these, um, basically like however you prefer it, to be honest. Mustard is an awesome condiment because it's zero calories and zero fat. So I basically put this on everything now. I'm going to add some spinach to this and then my lunch is done. So my sandwich is done. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now and then we are gonna cut it. I already cut my sandwich. I mean, we gonna end this session. End this session like I'm in therapy. End this clip. Here is the beauty 
that lies behind the sandwich that's about to go in my belly. So, tuna, spinach, mustard in my belly. And you know what surprises me? I hate when people talk to me about hoping, so bear with me, but you guys got me while I'm eating for every meal, so it's happening. Um, what surprises me about eating healthy or paying attention to what you're eating is not only the how quickly your body responds to it and adapts to it, but how good these things can taste. Like, it shocks me sometimes. And I think that is because I put together combos that I feel like naturally wouldn't taste good, but they end up tasting really, really well. And that's why I say I'm a creature of habit. I stick to things that I find that I love. So once I find something I love, I'm on it. Like I'm typically on it forever. And that's just what I do. I'm going to devour my lunch. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far.